And here we are again, round three of today's live Q&A. So for those of you who are watching later, sorry that we had to do this three times and there's three videos, but I hope you guys get a benefit out of watching the proper form for Bulgarian split squats. And earlier uh, in the first video of today, we went over a form for a lot of core exercises. This is especially great for you mamas out there. So I would definitely look at that one. And then the video two was more diving into the nutrition-based questions for this week. And now we're gonna get into Bulgarian split squats. Okay, so one of the things here, and we've been talking about, oh, hey, Marissa. <laughs> so I'm talking about um, the aspect of Instagram showing improper form with quite a lot of things because the females are really trying to accentuate their glutes. And this is very confusing for those of us who have never really had like the proper education around strength training and how to maximize the contraction of certain muscle parts or certain body parts. So here is what we're going to do first. Let's see if I can make this happen. Yeah, we're going to do this on the couch. Yeah, okay. So if you are at home, let's see if we can make this happen. So if you're at home, you could find like some sort of uh, couch that we want it to be just about the height of the knees so that we can sit down, right? Your knee, your, it's not too high, so it's breaking that line. Um, so you want it so that you could actually sit down and then sit back up. So that's what we're looking for in terms of height when you're doing Bulgarian split squats. So all of the uh, benches at the gym will be this. But if you're at home and you're doing this sort of workout, you can totally use a couch. So I generally, I feel in my body where that distance is now. So it's, my foot's going to be a little bit forward. The top of my foot is resting on the couch. If you have any sort of tightness in the top of your feet, this can potentially feel uncomfortable. So you might want to stretch out the top of your feet just by simply pulling on the top of your foot and engaging your glute. That's going to pull and stretch the whole front line of your leg. But otherwise, we want that top of the foot placed firmly on whatever surface you're using. And then from here, we are tucking the butt under. So I'm definitely not pushing my butt back because that's shortening my lower back and distending my abs. So I'm tucking my butt under. The majority of my weight is in the heel of my front foot. I'm pushing my butt back as if it's reaching towards this back heel from here. And then I'm driving my hips forward and squeezing my glute. So if I do this on the other side, right, so I'm here. I set my pelvis up so I'm tucking my butt under before anything else. I will sit my butt backwards and then I will think about driving from right underneath my glute and then squeezing my butt at the top. My abs are also engaged here. So I'm really focusing on engaging my abs and glutes at the same time. So I'm pushing my butt back as much as I can and then squeezing and locking my hips with a, with a tight ab. So I'm not standing up all the way. If I stand up all the way, my glute doesn't contract in the same way. Uh, so when we are seeing ladies on Instagram do this, they'll usually push their butt way back and then they will tighten at the top. This is gonna be much more quad dominant. So if you wanna build your glutes, then you really wanna make sure that you're tucking your butt under. Moving on to the second thing that you should definitely have down first is squats. I'm gonna catch my breath real quick. So looking at squat formation, let me see how this is gonna work. You need to push your back a little bit. Okay, so looking at squat formation. Uh, so you can see my feet. So feet will traditionally be just outside of the hips. Everyone's body is created different, so where your feet are may not be the same as where my feet are. Uh, but they should be right on the outside of your hips. A slight turnout in the toes is helpful. So when you're going into your squat, again, you want to have a slight tuck of the pelvis, so I'm not arching my lower back. So I have a slight tuck, tuck of the pelvis, my arms are tight. I'm pushing my butt back as far as my, I can, keeping my knees behind my toes. And I like to pull my toes up at the bottom to make sure that the weight's in my heels. 
So I'm here, but then really you want your toes to stay on the ground. My abs are tight, and then I am driving my hips up from the top and squeezing my glutes, but I'm never releasing all the way at the top. So I'm never like arching my lower back and pushing my hips forward. I am simply driving through the heels and squeezing my butt to where I can get a full contraction at the top. And part of that is coming because I am focusing on pushing my knees outwards as I'm coming up, which activates the whole glute complex. So we have uh, lateral muscles of the glute, the glute medius it's called, and those guys when they're activated, which happens when we are thinking about pressing the knee out when we're going into a squat, if we can activate those, it activates the entire glute complex. So, <sighs> so squats are definitely a technical uh, position. Uh, Marissa, we're going to go over these next week so I can tweak and poke at your body so that we make sure that you're in the right position. But all of these exercises, <laughs> oh, hey, Erica, um, all of these exercises are super uh, amazing, but it's like we can do them without attention or awareness. And if we do them without attention or, or awareness of what we're actually contracting, we can lose like 50% of the benefit. So really focusing on the muscles that are active, making sure that you use your breath to contract. Yeah, I'm excited too, Marissa. Yeah, if anybody wants to come and do like a one-off training session with me, Marissa's gonna do that with me next week. Um, we can go over forms for all the things and I can poke and tweak your body uh, to make sure that you're in the right position and that we're doing things so that you get the most bang for the hours that you're spending uh, in your training sessions. Okay, so I'm going to close off for now. Sorry about the three videos again. I'm gonna get right back into my coaching feedback for the morning. So for those of you who are my private clients who haven't gotten coaching yet, it's coming and now you know where I was. <laughs> I hope everyone has a wonderful Friday and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.